Hey guys, it's day seven of our RV trip and I'm really, really tired and this is a long drive so far. I've already done about three hours and we have an another three, if not more to go. But let me tell you why I'm so tired. Okay. Last night I go to bed at around midnight and I was just out. I wasn't dreaming or anything, I was just out. And then all of a sudden I wake up, it's like next thing I know, I like wake up with a sense of urgency and the room's completely dark, but in like my mind or like my mind's eye, I don't know, I, I like see this vision of me standing next to what looked like a really big black cricket and I had this urgency to like get away from it. And I'm not scared of crickets, but that feeling of, okay, you gotta like run, made me sit up in bed. And as soon as I sat up, oh, I felt something big with lots of legs run down my legs and go like back and forth from each of my legs. I had shorts on and, I, and my covers weren't on me. And so I could just feel this thing running down my leg, going back and forth and fast. Whatever this thing was, was fast. It had lots of legs. Oh, So of course, I just leap st straight up in bed. I go lean over towards Marcus's side because he has the light switch on his side of the bed. And as I'm doing this, you know, I'm like, Whoa! like freaking out and he wakes up and he's like what 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 and of course it's like deja vu for him for um i vlogged about like a night terror that i had a few videos back and the same kind of thing happened where i like i swore i was, I was screaming that there was something in the walls apparently i thought there was giant bugs in the wall and i screwed up my knee really bad and I vlogged about that, but so he was thinking, I guess, that I was having another night here, but no, this was for real. So I switched the light on and he's like, what? And as soon as I switch the light, of course, I'm looking on my side of the bed where I felt this thing crawling on my body and I see a huge black roach just dart right back under the covers. And I'm like, it's a roach, it's in the bed. And of course he's like, what? No, you see it. But and then he's like, all right, get off the bed, get off the bed. And so like I leap off that bed and I'm standing in the hallway. And of course he goes, and there it goes. It starts running and tries to hit it. It fell on the floor. He finally got this roach. I mean, this sucker was huge. And it crawled all over me while I was asleep. I don't know what prompted me to wake up, but, and then sit up in bed. Cause it wasn't until like I actually sat up that I felt this thing crawling all over my legs. Um, oh my gosh. So that was at two, around 2.30 a.m. And of course I couldn't go back to sleep. Like I am terrified, I hate roaches. And I just couldn't go back to sleep after that. It was, it was just a mess. I was just laying there awake like, oh my gosh. At any little thing that like brushed on my leg, I screamed like traumatized so I'm exhausted um, I got maybe like half an hour of sleep in there towards like 5 a.m. but that didn't help because Chloe got up at like 6:30. and Kingston got up at 6 40 and you know they're loud and Chloe like found a bottle of uh, vitamin C she <laughs> that had rolled and uh, she was walking through the RV shaking that thing it was so loud Marcus just didn't want to take it away from her. She was playing with it like maracas. So, yeah, that was my early morning. And it just has to happen when I have this long drive ahead. And we're leaving Louisiana and going to Texas. This RV park that we're staying at is a lot more chill. I think they have like a fishing hole and of course a pool, but nothing like outlandish, like this crazy water park we were just at. And it was so funny, like every night, cause um, 
at this particular RV park in Louisiana that we stayed at, you bring your golf carts or you rent golf carts and that's how you get around this huge places of golf carts. And at night, I mean, people tricked out their golf carts with like crazy flashing different colored lights and rims and everyone has like a booming sound system in their golf cart. And so they would just drive up and down the little roads in front of everybody's RV, blaring their music. I mean, like crazy stuff, like the Tootsie Roll and Vanilla Ice and MC Hammer. And then of course, like a boatload of country. It was just a party all night long in the golf carts and they're drinking and you know, it was, it was cool though. Um, everyone in Louisiana that we met was so friendly, so friendly. And, and there was like a lot of drinking and a lot of smoking. Um, they smoke a lot of cigarettes in Louisiana, but everybody was so nice. So I had a great time, minus the bug incident. Oh man, see, and when we lived in a house, we didn't have that problem. Cause you know, you, you spray for bugs and termites cause you can't have termites eat your house. And this RV, I don't know if you can you spray for bugs. I definitely don't want to spray inside my RV for bugs. Uh, I just don't know how we're going to handle that. Because the south, man, the south has some scary big old roaches that fly and bite. What? And I just can't take it anymore. We made it to Texas. And right now I'm just walking Coco kind of taking a look around they have this little pet area for your dogs I think I'm gonna let her run around hey Coco you want to run around in here look you have the dog park all to yourself and it's got a little obstacle course so this RV park is little which is good because it's quiet and we're right next to the pool in the park and there's a lot of open flat land Hey guys, sorry this vlog is so short, but today all we really did was drive. And it's like 10 o'clock and I'm walking Coco for the last time. And probably just gonna sit outside because it's so nice out here and look up at the stars. It is amazing, the sky, because there's not a lot of light pollution. There's a lot of noise pollution though from the highway. But you can see so many of the stars, so hopefully no UFOs, because nobody's got time for that. <laughs> 